Hi everyone. Today I would like to um, carry on working on the uh, overpass um, interchange model. Today I add signals to the intersection here that is signalized already. As you can see, the stop lines. So today we are going to add those to the model. So what we need to do go to signal control and click on the signal controllers we can click on the green cross add we select fixed time name uh, interchange and click on the edit controller data here there are different options. If you have VSIG uh, module in your license included, then you have much more options. But here we have signal groups, integrated matrices, and signal programs. So let's go to signal groups, double click on them. And here we can click add, you do a right click. You can also double click into that. This interchange is in the United States. I think that they don't have the uh, red amber, just uh, red, green, and then the amber. We can add minimum durations. I think I just stick with the default here, and I call this the vest. If you come out back here, we can just right click and duplicate. I would like to create five, con uh, five um, signal groups. <laughs> Let me show you why. So if I go to the map, so this will be one phase. This will be the left turn, another phase or signal group. That will be another one. That will be another one. So that is one, two, three, four, so I go back here. Of course, so we can edit the number of uh, signal groups here as well. Um, you can edit the names and uh, well, you can't really edit more here. You might be able to add something from the attributes and edit, but uh, this is just probably for the names, so it's not very useful. So if you go back here, double click, uh, go back there. So we call signal group one. Let's do that. That's going to be the vest through. That's the vest left turn. That's going to be the east. And the fourth one is going to be the South approach. Let's delete that. We can add an intergrid matrix, but it is not necessary. We can just uh, fill it out with, let's say, sevens. <laughs> but when we run the model, we will also, or uh, we will go, We are going to see if um, seven is uh, good or bad. It might be too short for some movements. I think it should be enough. Probably you can get away with six as well for most. But let's just do that. But it is not necessary to make um, if you use fixed signals. So let's move the cycle time up a bit to 90. Um, offset and switching time is not necessary for uh, we don't use it now. Um, we will. Uh, we might look into that later in later videos. So for the intergreen matrix, we can select intergreen matrix uh, one there. And as you can see, I already I know that I already made a mistake because, uh, for example, the left turn is not um, in conflict with that one. So we can just um, delete that. And also one with two, 
east and also we divest through and the east they also not in conflict they will run together so let's go back here so west through west left turn so they can go together then east east can go with the west east can go with the west and the south so let's say this as you can see as i move it the integrin matrix shows if there is a conflict or not if i take it away there is no such thing so it is good for checking yeah let's just do a very rough test now and uh, we can just run the model and see how it goes and then we can make adjustments yeah so to exit save data and go back to vism hit ok i switch off the background come back to the links <laughs> okay let's give it a try ah we need to place the signal heads as well so let me switch that back background map so the stop line is here so i'm going to put the signal head there what it means is um, previously it was turned on the while the evolution was turned on and uh, it just says that basically whatever change we make or the change we just make want to make that will uh, result in a removal of the previous results so that's fine so here it automatically brings up the signal head so what I did I hold down control I held it down and then click the right button and that placed it so west left turn i just place here the west through you can also hear here in the quick view that it says the west left turn this is west through what you can do here to make a life easier there is a duplicate two duplicate button the bottom one it duplicates the signal head <laughs> the stop one can duplicate the signal controller as well or at least it brings up the question but i don't want to duplicate the signal controller i can do it again i can place it here and i can change the signal group this is the solve approach i just place the all the three <laughs> yeah duplicate it again uh, that goes up oh we need to check where is the stop line there okay i uh, change it to east duplicate there okay i think we have placed all of them let's play quick mode is on so let me switch it off switch up the map as well I think it looks all right. What we also need to do to make it um, correct is to place um, reduce speed areas for the turns. But I am not going to waste the time on that one now. Um, we can set all those maybe in the next video or something because we also need to do like speed changes probably and everything. Okay, so let's just check on the matrices what we have. So we have a warm up, peak, cool off, that's fine. So what we can do is let's assign a little bit more green time to that one. So we go back here, double click on the signal, edit controller data, signal group, 
and we go to the west. So it seems the southern control is enough. So I can take two away. I can take two away from there. So I can make this a little bit longer. Yeah, like that. Let me save it. Okay, that. Let's have a look. Let's speed it up a bit. So it also shows that uh, this one shouldn't be like that. So it should be the other way around. Okay. So let me just change that. And let's just set those uh, reduce speed areas up for, you know, very quickly. So what we do here is we add Hey, cars, hey, GVs, four cars, let's do it, 30, four trucks, let's do it, 25. I can just uh, duplicate that, place it there. So as you can see, this one is longer than the connector here, but if you drag it onto it, it automatically shortens it. So let me just duplicate that again. Let's put two here. like that and let me just place these across here so this what this needs to be um, here we can edit it i think here around 60 maybe 50 64 cars let's do 50 and maybe 44 trucks and we can just duplicate it again place onto that one 30 25 is good let's do one that as well and <laughs> like that but this one probably just maybe 60, 60. Yeah, there you are. Signals are working. In the next video, what we do is we will look into the evaluation, how to run the model, how to check the queue lengths, how to check the delays, um, LOSs, things like that. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, please consider liking, subscribing, if you like what you see and you would like to support the channel, if there is any question, uh, please discuss it in the comment section below. I try to respond as quickly as I can. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.